In today's tutorial we are going to do the teeny weeny crochet caps. This pattern is available in four different sizes. We have in the very back we have the up to three month size. We then have a newborn size just like this. We also have a five to six pound preemie size and we also have the preemie preemie of three to four pounds. You can see when you lay them all out you can see that they are different sizes and they are also different heights. The pattern that we're doing today will be listed on the title of this video. In today's tutorial we are going to do the up to three month size for the teeny weeny crochet cap. You'll need a four and a half millimeter size crochet hook or a US size seven. You can get a total of six of these hats out of one Karen Simply Soft yarn ball. So as promised this pattern comes in four different sizes and all of the sizes are available in this very easy to follow pattern instructions. So we have preemie sizes of three to four pounds. We have another preemie size of five to six pounds. We have a newborn of seven to nine pounds and then an up to three months of tw 10 to 12 pounds. Now the title of this video is indicating what size that we're gonna be working on today. So it says right here in the instructions on how many hats. So it says you see how there's different colors. Those are what's indicating in the instructions as we go out through throughout this particular idea. So we're gonna start off in the instructions for example and if we're doing the preemie size of three to four pounds it'll say you do all of this and then it says three to four pounds only. So this is only gonna apply when you're working on this one and then you will see in other instructions of what you need to do. So if size is five to six, seven to nine, ten to 12 all is here instead. So you just have to watch these particular colors. Now for this particular kind of project it says that for one hat one ball will make 15 hats and then the next size of five to six month of uh, sorry five to six pounds of the preemie it's 10 hats. The next size of newborn it'll be nine hats and then up to three months you can get six hats out of one Karen Simply Soft yarn ball. So without further ado let's start working on this project together and uh, let's begin now. So let's begin with our Karen Simply Soft yarn. Let's create a slip knot and this is for beginners as well. So the first three rounds on any one of the four sizes are identical to each other and let's begin to do that now. So here's our slip knot on the hook. Remember that it never counts as one. So we need to start at the top of the hat and work our way down to the forehead of the child. So let's uh, begin. We're going to chain three. So remember the one on the hook never counts as one. So one, two, and three and what it's asking us to do is do eight half double crochets in the third chain from the hook which is basically the first one that we started with. So let's just wrap the hook going into the first chain, pull through. You have three loops on your hook, pull through all three. That's one of eight. So let's continue to do that. So wrap in, pull through, pull through all three. So that was number two. Okay and that was three. Now this straggler here, see how I'm just laying it down on top so that it covers over the ring? It's just a way of uh, securing that without ever having to worry about it. So that was five, six, seven and eight. So what you need to do, it says here, join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet. Well we had to do eight. So just looking back, if you're confused, count backwards. So you got one underneath. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Is right there. So if you're ever confused in what you're looking at, just count backward at this point and join it with the slip stitch. And that's the center ring. Let's move along to round number two. So we wanna start off with chaining of two and what we have to just do is we go uh, just chain two, one and two and into the same stitch right underneath you want to uh, half double crochet two times. So one and two. You will notice in the instructions that the chaining of two in any starting of the rounds does not count as a stitch. So just don't count that as a stitch. So it's not included as a half double crochet. So we're gonna put two half double crochets into each stitch going all the way around. Now if you're thinking about this, how many stitches are you gonna go all the way around? It's a total of eight. Okay, so we're just adding two half double crochets into each one going all the way around. Right in the very beginning here is where you need to really worry about your stitch counts to get them right. So 
so at the end what I want to do is that I want to count each group of two and there should be a total of eight when I've done that. So I can either just count it out loud as I'm going here or I can just count it when I'm done. I think there's seven here because I still have one left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's my last one here. So you probably thought okay well there if you're a new crochet there there was actually two. This one is extending into the first one so that's why it doesn't count. So we want to join this with the top of the beginning half double crochet to finish that off and that was round number two. So let's move along to round number three. Round number three. We're going to start off by chaining two. Remember that does not count as a stitch and in the next one available to you. So right directly underneath you're gonna have two half double crochets. So one and two and then in the next one that we have here it says one half double crochet in the next one. So it's just gonna be by itself. So the repeat pattern on this entire round is that one of them which is this next one is gonna have two half double crochets and the next one's just gonna have one. Okay, so we're just increasing size. So the next one's gonna have two and then the next one's gonna have one. So please do that same configuration going all the way around for round number three. So then coming up all the way around in the end of round number three, the last one should be one single crochet by itself. So and how do I know that's to be true? We started off with two and then one, two and one, two and one. So the very last one should just be a one. Okay, because the next one is a two. So once you get that done just join it to the beginning half double crochet that we started with. I just went into a gap by accident. Make sure it is to an actual stitch not to a gap space because it'll appear very obvious if it's separating. So that is round number three. So now what we're going to do uh, is that we're going to move on to the size that we're doing in this particular video in order to do the rest of this. So let's begin to do round number four and five as we continue our journey here and this is the largest size up to three months. So you can see that this round shares the same rounds of three of the other sizes out of the four and that's the five to six pounds, the seven to nine pounds and this is the ten to twelve pounds which is up to three months. So let's begin we're going to chain two. Remember that th that does not count as a stitch in this particular pattern and we're gonna put two half double crochets into the same stitch right underneath it and then the next two are going to be one half double crochet each. So the repeat patterning for this one here is that the next one is gonna be two half double crochets into the same stitch and then the next two stand by themselves. So one and two. Okay, so just repeat one more time. So just two into the next and one into the next two. So continue that same idea going all the way around. So two and then one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one all the way around. I'll see you back here and we'll start off round number five. So as I come back all the way around I want to join it to the beginning half double crochet. So let's move along to round number five. So round number five you'll see that it shares the same round as doing the seven to nine pounds the newborn size. So let's do this one. We're gonna chain up two. So one and two and it will be one half double crochet in each of the next three. So I'm gonna come directly underneath this one for the first one. So the first three will be by themselves. Okay and then the next one will be two into the same one. So that's the repeat for this entire revolution. So remember it's gonna be three by itself. So one, two and three and then the next one is by itself. So the next uh, one sorry there's two into the same one. So please do that all the way around for round number five. So I'm concluding round number five. I'm just gonna join it to the beginning half double crochet. So now we're gonna move up to the next round of this. We just have one more growth round to do and this one here we're gonna chain two and it's gonna be two half double crochets into the same one underneath and then this time what we're going to do is that we're gonna be putting a half double crochet. Uh, the next three will be by themselves. Okay, so one and two and three just like that and then the next one is gonna be two into the same one. So it's kind of the very similar to what you just did in the last one. Okay, so that's one, two and three and the next one is gonna be two into the same one.
So please do that same patterning going all the way around uh, for this particular size. So as you come all the way back around you're just going to slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet. So now we're done growing this particular hat and now it's ready for taking its final shape. So if I look at another one here you can see this is what we're gonna be doing. So what we have to do for this size is that we have to fold it in half and it has to be a five inches between the top here and to the brim. So if I pull out my measuring tape here. Okay so I have to get to five inches. So right over here. So I'm gonna continue to go round and around just like I'm about to show you and we have to get a total of five inches and then we're gonna do a brim. So to do all remaining rounds for this, this is how, what we're going to do is that we are going to chain uh, two. Remember that doesn't count as a half double crochet, it's just more of a builder. And we're going to half double crochet once in each stitch going all the way around. So you just have to continue to do this all the way around. There's no more growing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to meet you back here just to review on how to slip stitch when you're finished your revolution and then how to start the next and you have to get to the five inches on your own and then I'm gonna show you how to do the final border at that particular point. Okay so it's one half double crochet in each stitch going all the way around. So as you come up all the way back around you're just going to half double crochet and then slip stitch to the beginning half double crochet as you finish each revolution as you're making your way to the five inch mark. Just start another round just chain up two and again just half double crochet in each one of the stitches going all the way around. So I want you to do this and I want you to continue so you get the five inches that you need and then when we come back then we'll do the brim together. So I'll see you here in just a moment. Okay when I last left you I was telling you to get to five inches and here we are. We have five inches just like you have and now we're gonna finish off our final revolution together. So to do the final revolution you chain one and you put one single crochet into each one of the stitches going all the way around. So I'm gonna leave that to you. When I come back I'll show you how to finish off. Uh, if you're gifting this to somebody you'll wanna see how I'm finishing it off for uh, getting in my tail ends so that the tail ends never fall out. Nothing worse than giving this away as a gift or your own child wearing it and the tails are hanging out because you know it would bother you in the end. <laughs> so uh, join me right back here and I'll show you how to finish this off. As you get all the way back around it's just single crochet in each one of the half double crochets and then you're just going to join it to the beginning single crochet. So I want you to cut your string about a foot long and I want you to pull that string through a loop and I want you to grab a darning needle. So if you put the yarn, uh, yarn through a darning needle and then put it through it'll never fall out. So here's how I do it and it's a, a quick little tip for you and I finish all my crochet projects this way as well. So if you slide your needle underneath into the fibers, okay, right underneath just like this and you go in three different directions it'll never fall out. So just come through once, go back in the same direction but through a different set of fibers. If you go in the exact same path then it falls out. So different set of fibers and then back once again in the other direction. So one, two and three just like that and you can just safely cut your strand right down into the project and you'll never see it coming out. So now just turn it inside out. That strand that we worried about in the very beginning we can just safely cut that out too. And now you got a hat that's perfectly ready for the donation box if you're doing this for charity or if you are doing this for somebody that you love or a child that may be in your life. So this is how you make these hats. These are up to three months. We have all the different sizes available for you in this particular pattern. So we have our newborn size. So look at the difference. We then had our first preemie like this and then we had the ultimate preemie like this. So you can see the differences of all three of the sizes. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Have a great day. We'll see you again.